Now, if you've noticed or something, if you've probably, you know, you're probably catching on right now. Let's say we had an expression, remember expressions don't have equal signs, that had y plus 6 plus 7 plus 3. And we can really solve this right now just by adding 6 and 7 together, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus y, whatever. Basically, we take all the, all the things that we can add, we add them together, and just put them against y. But let's say that after we add one more thing, we want to subtract something. We want to subtract y. And that's going to, let's add two y's together. Then after that, you want to subtract the y. You might re re recognize a problem. Should I say 5 minus y, or should I say, you know, do all this, then subtract y? And, you know, there's this, this, this brings up a very legitimate problem, actually, in pre-algebra. And in order to solve this problem, the, you know, great mathematicians of this world, you know, sat down and they really had to figure out, a, a, a solve an issue to this, you know, like a, like a resolution to this problem. They decided to make a standard way of some, um, you know, solving expressions. And this is remembered by the acronym PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You know, I recognize, I just remember it as PEMDAS, but you know, you can remember it as several different, okay, like different, different ways. And this is basically the order of what to solve when in an expression. The first thing we're going to want to solve in PEMDAS is parentheses. So any parentheses. And yeah, um, probably shouldn't have made it so close to the edge of the screen. Um, these are exponents. So for example, for parentheses, if um, you know, if we had six plus four plus you know, m minus 2, and we have parentheses, the first thing we do is do whatever's in the parentheses, so 10 minus 2, 8. Exponents, which basically are, you know, x squared, or rather, 2 squared plus 4, we do 4 plus 4 equals 8. And I'm just going to erase this. I'm going to put this a little bit more closer to the edge of the screen. So we use PEMDAS. And the P stands for parentheses. We got that out of check. I'm going to change the game color actually. And we got um, exponents. Next is multiplication. So multiplication. For the record, in pre-algebra, one way of doing multiplication is basically this little dot. So 2 dot 2 is the same as is equals 2 times 2, which equals 4. So we first do parentheses. We check to make sure all our parentheses are solved as far as we can solve them. Next, we make the check to make sure all our exponents are solved outright. Then after that, we multiply everything. Then after that, we divide everything. Then after that, we do our addition. And then we do our subtraction. Now, PEMDAS works a little like this. You're going to want to do all your um, multiplication and your division together, as well as your addition and subtraction together. But we're going to want to get into that a little bit later. Just recognize that multi multiplication and division are closer to get uh, close together, and addition and subtraction are close together. Um, actually, I'll go over that right now. Basically, if uh, we had this really long, complicated expression, ugh, so this really long and complicated expression, um, times uh, six plus two minus four divided by two. Basically, this division. This this is another way of saying division. Put something on top and divide it and and you know draw a line in the bottom basically saying you know 4 divided by 2 which is a little easier way to write that all right so let's say we had this really complicated equation the first thing we're going to want to do is do all the um you know parentheses so we'd have 10 squared times 8 minus 4 halves. I'm actually going to, um, I remember it as 10 squared 
plus 8 minus 4 halves. If I forgot something, then hey, who cares? So we basically solved our, you know, parentheses. And remember, it goes P E M D A S, PEMDAS. Next step is ex um, exponents. So what we're going to want to do is 100. We're going to want to do our exponents. These remain the same, 4 halves. Now, like I said, our multiplication and um, you know division occur at the same time, and addition and subtraction occur at the same time. So basically, what happens is we um, do multiplication and division from left to right at the same exact time. We if we had this, you know, consider this following thing divided by two, we wouldn't like you know first do a, we, we'd actually yes indeed do the um, multiplication first because it appeared first. So we do 24 divided by 2, 12. This also works if we had 4 divided by 2 times 6. We wouldn't automat we wouldn't omit doing the um oh. we wouldn't omit doing the division until last. We'd first do the division because it appeared first and left to right. So we do 2 times 6, which is 12. So um, multiplication and division and addition and subtraction, those two pairs are actually occurred at the same time. So going back to here, um, we don't have any multiplication, but we do have division. So we go ahead and now we complete this division. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now addition and subtraction. We do left to right because we're left with these last two steps. So basically we have 108 minus 2. Our answer is 106. Now this is what you call the order of operations, which basically um, gives you an order to completing your um, like any long complicated or, um, expression. Let's say we had another one, 6 minus 4 halves um, times 2 squared uh, plus 6 minus 4 times 2 divided by 2 plus, and then other parentheses, 1 plus one plus one that's one plus one guys so first things first that we do are the parentheses so basically now we have um, we can't really do much right now but we can do something right here on this parentheses so these parentheses remain intact actually no this is a good time actually to show this off um, inside each parentheses PEMDAS repeats itself so parentheses basically are little blocks of things that take priority. So in this situation, in this um, 6 minus 4 half, 4 has by times 2 to the power of 2, 2 squared, otherwise known as, um, you know, you might be confused as to what goes first. We basically just repeat PEMDAS again. PEMDAS will always repeat. You can have parentheses inside parentheses inside parentheses forever, and you'll always want to do PEMDAS. So what's first things first in PEMDAS? Exponents. So what happens first is 6 minus... Um, Four halves. That's that, that. That just remains the same. Times four now. So now basically what we have is six minus uh, four halves times four. Oh. Next thing next is we do uh, multiplication and division as they occur. So six minus four halves, which is two. So six minus two times four. So this is an important thing. Six minus two times four. Plus, must copy this out. Six minus four times two halves. Um, plus, and you know, one plus one is two, so we can just do that. Now, in this scenario, what we're first gonna wanna do is because PEMDAS states that multiplication and division happen before addition or subtraction, we don't do six minus two first. We do two times four first. So it's six minus. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 6, minus 4 times 2 halves, um, I'm getting a call, hold up, uh, 4 times 1, because two, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so it's two, we're basically saying 4 times 1 is 4, so we're going to su um, subtract 4 from there, and we're going to want to add 2. So now we've basically completed the next set of operands. The last thing, the last operations we're going to want to do are addition and subtraction, left to right. 6 minus 8, um, 
I'm getting a message. I'm getting a call again. From Austin Lee Ellis actually is probably asking me where I am right now. I'm going to put my phone on mute a little bit. But um, I'm actually going to want to change this up because this is going to get into negative numbers. And I don't want to get into negative numbers just quite yet. So, you know, basically what you do first is 6 minus 8 and then all that good stuff. But let's let's just pretend this isn't 6. I probably should have thought ahead and recognized that, you know, this is going to... Let's say this is 9 because otherwise I'm going to go into negative numbers a little later. So 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Remember, we're going from left to right. So we're just doing this out loud in our head. 9 minus 8 is going to be 1. So right now, the next line, we're going to have 1. But wait, there's more. I want to add 6 to this. So 1 plus 6, what is that? 7. After that, it's telling us, oh, we have to subtract 4 from there. So we did 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. And 3 plus 2 is going to now be equal to 5. Now we have nothing else after that. So this long, complicated equation. By the way, this is 9, not 6. Ignore that. <laughs> Uh, this long, complicated equation just nets us the simple 5. Well, I don't draw my 5s like that. There we go. So, yeah, PEMDAS is very useful. If you didn't get this tutorial, just, um, you know, do a couple, make some stupid uh, applications on your own, little programs of your own, little uh, equations, rather, of your own. Using PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. See you guys next part.